When you open the OSO Energy app, it will bring you to the main screen. This screen shows a variety of information on the top half of the screen. In this example, the water heater tank is at 87% charged, with a temperature at the top of the tank of 68 degrees, at the middle of the tank of 67 degrees, and at the bottom of the tank of 64 degrees. This amount of hot water is equal to about 3 showers, or 310 liters of water at 40 degrees Celsius. The tank at 87% charge is currently off, which means that it's not heating any more water. At the bottom of the page, we have an energy consumption graph in kilowatt hours. It can be organized into day, week, month, or year. If you select one of the bars, it will show you exactly how much energy was used at that particular time. If you switch it to week, you can see exactly how much energy was used per day, again selecting on the bars. On this page there is also sleep mode. What sleep mode does is it puts the water heater into a mode, if you are away for some days, where it will maintain uh, the safety functions to avoid bacteria growth while also reducing the energy usage. You can set this from a certain period to a certain period, clicking on this timeline, and it'll allow you to change the date and the year and the day. Now we're going to navigate to another page. So on the bottom bar, second from the left, is the Wi-Fi page. This page will allow you to connect your device to Wi-Fi, and there's a video on this on the St. John Energy website. Third from the left is our settings page. Here you can add a new water heater or change your water heater profile. If I go into the water heater profile, you can see the information that is required for the setup, and you are able to also change your water heater name. If I wanted to change water heater name from SJE Lab 2 to say, kitchen or basement, this will allow you to be able to distinguish between if you have more than one water heater. Finally, the last page furthest to the right is your user account. This is where you can find any information on the privacy policy or your particular profile. I hope this has been helpful.